There was a buzz going into the December 10th, 2021 episode of AEW Rampage. After months of holding bags of chips, wearing hoodies, and just looking cool in the background, Hook made his in-ring debut. And luckily, the meme-loving Hook gang fandom were rewarded with a star-making performance, as Taz's son answered the question everyone had been asking. Hook, you good? And holy cow was he ever. If you watched the debut and just let it wash over you, you know what I'm talking about, but let's break it down a bit. Yes, you've probably watched several videos and listened to some podcasts showering his debut with praise, and I'll do some of that here too, but I'll also add some stuff to the tail end of the video that might be new to you too. Okay, so I'm gonna use the Bret Hart scale to discuss Hook here. Basically, according to Bret, a great wrestler needs to be strong in three areas. Look, in-ring ability, and promo ability. I've always liked this scale as it covers the vast majority of what wrestlers can control to get over. Uh, just as a side note, Bret Hart gave himself a 7 in look, a 7 in promo ability, and a 10 in in-ring ability. So, what did we learn about Hook in his debut? Well, number one, he's got the look. He's got the type of effortless cool that people wish they had themselves or wish they could date. The disheveled devil may care hairdo, the Joe Hisashi from King of Fighters gear and physique, never mind that he wrestles while wearing a necklace and chewing bubblegum, there is a James Dean quality to him that's undeniable and that grabs your attention. Now I want to expand on the idea of his look by including the overall presentation. This includes his simplified entrance graphics, which simply say Hook, in the same style as his now best-selling t-shirt and beanie, and his entrance theme, The Chairman's Intent by Action Bronson, perfectly complements the swagger he's got when he comes to the ring. Him facing away from his opponent before the start of a match is just the icing on a very frosty cake. Stick around until the end of the video for a couple of more details on this stuff. Number two, Hook can work. Yes, it's only one match, and it was against a near-perfect opponent given Fuego Del Sol's size and his penchant for getting tossed around, but there was an instinctual smoothness and believable viciousness to Hook's work. From the drop toe hold to the El Camino to the downward strikes across Fuego's face before cinching in his dad's old submission, the Taz Mission, aka the Katahajime, aka the Single Wing Choke, and now known as the Red Rum, Hook surprised pretty much everybody who was looking on. I can't overstate how legitimately and pleasantly surprising his in-ring work was. Again, it's only one match, but in terms of debuts, I've seen few better and few have left me feeling as excited for the future of a wrestler as this one. Now, there are many things we still don't know, because we just don't have the data samples. We don't really know if Hook can cut a promo, we don't know if he can work a long match, we don't know if he can sell a bigger opponent's offense, and we just don't know what's going to happen to him from here. But if you believe in the importance of first impressions, Hook left a massive imprint on AEW and its fans. And yeah, we all watch wrestling through a different lens, so what's good to me might not be good to you, but speaking for myself, I was borderline mesmerized by the entire debut, from his entrance, to the match itself, to him leaving without getting his hand raised. In short, I felt what the best pro wrestling moments make me feel, joy. I was just happy to take it all in, and I'm looking forward to more. Okay, so now let's get into the weeds a little bit with some Easter eggs here. So first off, Hook's entrance theme, The Chairman's Intent, is written and performed by Action Bronson. And if you are uncool and middle-aged like me, and had no idea who Action Bronson was before Hook's debut, despite Bronson having over 500,000 YouTube subscribers, a quick online search shows that Action Bronson is a New York area rapper who has written a ton of songs that reference pro wrestling in some way. Some of his songs are even titled after wrestlers, such as Barry Horowitz and Ron Simmons. He has also name dropped a ton of other wrestlers in his raps, including Bam Bam Bigelow, Vader, and William Regal, just to name a few. So the New York connection between Bronson, pro wrestling, and Taz and Hook is a natural one. While at this point, we don't know how long Bronson has been working with Team Taz, 
Uh, he did post an Instagram image of himself with Hook and Taz around two months before Hook's debut. Secondly, according to the Wrestling Observer, everything about Hook's presentation, from his gear to his entrance song, was Hook's idea. Which is awesome, because who better to get the look and feel of a wrestler than the wrestler themselves? Plus, it's just cool that even at 22 years of age, Hook is a self-made man. Next, Hook had two moves immediately named by his dad Taz on commentary. One was a gut wrench toss called the El Camino, which is Spanish for the way, not El Nino, Spanish for the Nino, and is either just a cool sounding name or it could be a reference to Breaking Bad or the classic, aesthetically pleasing 1958 car of the same name. Hook's finisher, the Red Rum, is murder spelled backwards and might be a reference and probably is a reference to this creepy scene from the Stanley Kubrick classic The Shining or maybe even from its more recent sequel Doctor Sleep since Hook when he gets you in the red room basically puts you to sleep. Well that's it for this one so what do you think? Will Hook be a one match wonder or did we just witness the genesis of what will be a special pro wrestling career? Only the future will tell, but right now, just speaking for myself, I am incredibly pumped and curious for whatever comes next. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. I had a great time making this one, and I hope you had a great time watching it. And if you didn't, still share it? <laughs> Until next time, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. Hook is good.